All right, y'all, we're here. We made it, the Griffith Observatory. We're about to embark on the scavenger hunt I made called the Quest for the Sacred Swords. Now, real quick, if you wanna to skip to the part of the video where I show you how to make the scavenger hunt yourself, you can tap the time code in the description and you'll find everything you need about halfway through this video. But for now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to go on an augmented reality scavenger hunt in the Marbleverse. First, we must tap on the first marble. As you can see, it's floating here right next to this pillar. Now they do shift around just a little bit. That's why these scavenger hunts are best for outdoor settings. But we're gonna tap on this first marble right here. Let it boot up. The quest for the sacred swords. Swipe right for the first clue, shall we? A noble quest for the strong at heart begins due north at the trail start. I always need to read it in a British accent. It doesn't feel right otherwise. The trail start. The trail start. Well, due north. That's due south. That means that's due north. So we're gonna walk due north in that direction and see what we find on our quest. Due north, due north. We're walking, we're walking. Oh, do you see that in the distance? Do you see that? The Sword of Earth. I think we have arrived. And tap on it. As we get closer, tap. Boom, what does it say? The Sword of Earth, the Sword of Earth. Let us celebrate that we have found our first sword. Isn't that unbelievable? We're gonna read the clue. Through the arch and down the hill, above the log, it won't stay still. Hmm, a riddle. Where could it be? I assume it is up the trail, shall we? I think we shall. Through the arch, do you see an arch? I don't see an arch. Here's an arch. It's not just any arch happens to be an arch dedicated to the friendship between Los Angeles and Berlin, Germany. And we go through the arch and down the hill. Well, that's up the hill. So, oh, that'll lead us down the hill. Look at that, the sword of air. Let us tap above the log. It won't stand still, so you gotta tap quick and open the second sword, the sword of air. Let us swipe past the bridge the steeper slope will lead you there. Just don't lose hope. All right, y'all, don't let me lose hope, okay? I don't know if I can do this. We're looking for a bridge. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The bridge, past the bridge, the steeper slope. Uh, oh no, okay. We're going to pass the bridge now. We're going to climb up that. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> She didn't hear me. Up the steeper slope. Let's go, let's go. There it is, the Sword of Water. And look at this magnificent view. All right, where is this marble? Let us, oh, it hops around. Gotta be quick. Show yourself, show yourself. The Sword of Water. What is the clue? Climb straight up. Got it. And cross the road until you reach the rocky load. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. Here we go. Here's the road. The road, now we must cross it until you reach the rocky load. This would make a fantastic workout. Augmented reality workout scavenger hunts. Sign me up. We've reached the rocky load and the marble is flitting about. We must catch it. I'll show yourself. I open there. There you go. The sword of fire. We've done it. You have done it with me. We together have accomplished the final sword. We have accomplished the quest. We have found all four swords of, all four sacred swords. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous view. Again, my apologies for oscillating between an American and a British accent this entire time, but you know what? When you're going on a quest for the sacred swords, sometimes you just gotta get in character. Thank you all for going on this quest with me. Now I'm gonna show you how I made it so that you can make your own quests in the Marbleverse. I'll see you there. Now that you've seen what an augmented reality scavenger hunt looks like, let me show you how I made it. 
First, I drove to the observatory and dropped a marble right in front of the big statue on the front lawn. I chose this location because it's a large public space with an easily identifiable monument. I dropped the first marble and then I changed the caption to the quest for the sacred swords. Then I uploaded the cover image which I had prepared earlier in Photoshop. I then deleted the image that automatically posted to the marble when I hit the shutter button. I then changed the design of the marble to be the golden quest marble that felt more appropriate for a scavenger hunt. Finally, I closed the photo and tapped on the marble again to make sure that everything loaded and appeared the way I wanted it to. At that point, I was done with Marble 1 for now, and I was ready to move on to Marble 2. At Marble 2, I repeated the same process. I dropped a marble, changed the caption, uploaded the image, deleted the default image, changed the marble design, and then checked that everything looked good. I repeated these steps for Marbles 3, 4, and 5, and at Marble 5, I turned around and walked back to Marble 4. At marble number four, I added a riddle to the marble that would guide the viewer to marble number five. I then followed this pattern all the way back to marble number one, adding a riddle to each marble that would lead the viewer to the next marble. I chose to do this on the way back so that I could write riddles that were more accurate to the terrain that the viewer was exploring. Now, those are the basic features you need to create a scavenger hunt in the Marbleverse, but I wanna mention two more features that can really take your scavenger hunt to the next level. First, it's probably a good idea to hide certain marbles from the map so that users can't cheat and find all your marbles without following the scavenger hunt. To do this, navigate to your profile, tap the Marble tab, choose which marble you would like to hide, tap the Menu button in the upper right corner, tap Set Location, and finally, toggle off the option to show marble on map. Now, when you navigate back to the map, you'll notice that the marbles you've hidden will be marked with a slightly transparent icon. This means that they have been hidden from other users' maps and are only visible on your map. It also means that users will have to start at your first marble and follow all the riddles to find all the marbles in your scavenger hunt. Lastly, you can also add collectibles to your scavenger hunt so that users can mark the achievement of discovering each marble. To add a collectible to a marble, first you need to create a collection. You'll need to open your Marbleverse profile on a desktop with this link, which I'll add in the description below. In your profile, click the My Collections button in the upper right corner, and then click Create New Collection. Add a cover image and a name, and click Save when you're done. Next, click on your collection and click the New Collectible button in the upper right corner. Add some content, give it a name and description, and hit Save when you're done. Now, in the mobile app, Open the marble to which you want to add this collectible. Tap the plus button in the lower right corner and hit more to reveal more options. Tap pick a collectible, choose your collection, and then tap the collectible you would like to add. If you don't like the default background image, you can tap the change background button and then choose an image from your camera roll. To test out your collectible, give it a tap to see the celebration screen. From there, you can follow the prompt to view the collectible in your profile. You can create as many collectibles as you'd like and add them to all of the marbles in your scavenger hunt to reward users for finding your marbles. And that's all there is to it. These scavenger hunts are a blank canvas for your wildest imagination to create anything from an Airbnb tour to an AR experience in an art museum. Please comment below what new use cases you can think of so that the app can evolve to accommodate more engaging experiences. But that's it for now. As always, my name is Leo, and I'll see you in the Marbleverse.